Hey, what's up, guys? It's Set Set Modern Warfare here, Gamer Tab Batcher Chicken, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, the question and answer session haven't had many um, questions yet. Um, so, I don't know if people are just forgetting to put Q&A when they ask their question. I just take it as a general question. So, if you are going to leave a question for the Q&A, make sure you put Q and A before you actually comment. So, I know to add that to the list of questions. So, anyway. In the meantime though, I decided to do a kind of question and answer thing on Apparition Net, which, because uh, a lot of people are confused about what it is, so I'm taking the majority of people's questions when they come to buy it or they come to inquire about it, um, so I'm just going to take like the most common questions. I get a lot of comments on the videos about Apparition Net as well, or people not understanding what it's all about, so yeah, that's hopefully this video will kind of... Uh, help you guys understand what it's all about so first of all the most common question I get well not the most common question but I suppose to start off with the question is what is apparition net well a lot of people uh, well okay first of all it's a it's an RTE tool um, well not a RTE tool call it more of an RTE program which contains RTE tools. So it's not one tool for one specific game. It's an RTE program which contains a bunch of different tools for different games. Um, so basically that is what Apparition Net is. Um, it's a private program so um, it is paid for a program. It's not uh, free publicly released um, but we are working hard and we're adding stuff to it so the next question, well, is is it a stealth service? A lot of people seem to think it's a an Xbox Live stealth kind of service. Nothing to do with that. It's just RTE. I think people are getting confused about the XUID spoofer, which is for because we say on our website, you know, it's got full XUID spoofing, and um, that means when you're on a game that has an XUID spoofer built into the program, then basically you can avoid KV, well avoid player reports which makes your key vault last longer and it makes your obviously it protects your account from getting banned and yeah basically because it does that uh, that's why we put it up and a lot of people think is that something to do with a bypass service but no it basically changes your gamer card um, into someone else's spoof set as someone else's so when someone goes to report you they're actually reporting the person you spoofed and not your actual profile so it protects you from player reports and of course you can use it to get other accounts banned by getting them to report that's that person that you spoofed lots of times and get them banned and you can also use it just to fool people and pre to pretend that you're some other player like Optic Nade Shot or Phase Apex or whatever and get hilarious reactions so it can be used for all different things um, that's the XUID spoofer uh, part of it now uh, the other question is what is gold spoofer what does the gold spoofer do well the gold spoofer is not like a big thing that we're advertising oh look at this gold spoofer it's amazing it's it's just another little handy thing that we add into the tool um, basically services like Xbox Live Stealth and I think maybe XE Live 5 or whatever other services are out there at the moment um, I don't even know if XE Live 5 is still up after the update I have no idea not really been following that kind of stuff lately for some reason but uh, I know Stealth's up for, for sure so Stealth has um, inbuilt uh, gold spoofing so whenever you create a silver account it automatically spoofs it as a gold account that's basically what our um, gold spoofer is it's the exact same so if you're using like a free bypass service like the Sawyer files then that doesn't have um, gold spoofing so our tool allows you to do that with services that don't offer the gold spoofing so you could create a silver account it's silver you know you can't join parties and you just connect our tool up click the uh, gold spoofer button and it spoofs it as gold just as you know Xbox Live Stealth or other services would do so um, that's the gold spoofer basically uh, so the other questions are what does uh, Apparition Net currently have what, what tools do we currently have in the program well, at the moment you should be seeing gameplay footage um, and everything you're seeing at the moment is all part of the program that's, that's all the one tool that's uh, 
doing all those mods that you're seeing and screenshots and whatever else I put up I uh, don't know yet but that's basically what we have in it at the moment is Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, 007 Quantum of Solace and Geometry Wars 2 which is an arcade game so that's what we've got in it as of right now plus obviously the gold spoofer um, all the COG tools have an XUID spoofer built in plus gamer tag changer plus uh, recovery stats for doing recoveries um, and in-game modifications for host and off host and of course Black Ops 1 also has zombie uh, modifications in there as well so that is what we have in it currently um, we are going to be adding more stuff um, I must stress that I try and tell us to everybody the tool is still in beta okay it's not finished by any means we're nowhere near finished it's still in beta so you are paying for a ongoing project it's not complete um, so yeah basically that leads on to the next question which is how do I get updates for the tool and the way you get updates is you don't really have to do anything apart from click a click uh, a button to update that's as simple as it it's an automatic updater so what happens is you buy well you launch the tool one day and you know it opens up normally and then maybe the next day we release an update for it to bring it to the next version we maybe add a new tool a new RTE tool in there or whether it's just a maintenance update or a security update um, what will happen to get the latest version is you open up the tool and you'll get an update prompt that says there's an update available click here to download you just click download the updates I'll probably show it on screen right now and it will just go ahead and it will update the program for you You just click OK once it's done and it reopens the program on the latest version with uh, whatever new things we've added to it that is basically how that works um, so that again leads on to our next question which is what will it have when it's finished so in other words basically you know at the end of the day once we've added pretty much everything into apparition um, and take taking it out of beta what all is it going to have in it well all CODs first of all so COD 4, COD 5, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 and Ghosts and Black Ops 2 and Ghosts will have ban by ban bypasses Blech. I'll say that right <laughs> they'll have ban bypasses built in to the programs uh, for that again they'll all have inbuilt XUID spoofers, in-game modifications, recovery stats, probably modded classes like god mode classes and stuff as well. Um, depending on what's patched on certain games obviously they'll be slightly different for each tool but that is basically what's going to have, that's what the COD tools are going to be when it's completed in Apparition Net but we're not stopping with just Call of Duty, we're, we're moving on, we're branching off from that as well and we're going to have uh, GTA 5, a bunch of other Hopefully some other games thrown in there as well. Uh, a few more arcade games thrown in there. Um, we'll try and go for popular arcade games. And of course we'll have uh, Halo is our sort of next step. It's our next series that we're going to get into. We're going to do Halo mods. So we're going to do Halo 3, Halo Reach and Halo 4 eventually. It will take a long time for us to get to that point obviously. Um, but we are working on each thing bit, bit by bit and uh, you get automatic updates so obviously when the tools completed and it's got absolutely everything in it so it's got all your your halos your um your cods every cod and it's got loads of arcade games and whatever else in there it is going the price is going to go up a little bit or maybe a fair bit um, at the moment it's 35 US dollars for the pro version which gives you absolutely everything. The light version isn't released yet um, and it's just going to be a cut down version of the tool so it's not going to, you know, a few things are not going to be included on the light version and that's why it's a bit cheaper. Um, so that's it so far. So that's why we recommend if, you, if you're interested in buying it, by all means buy it now because you're getting it at a reduced price. Obviously yes it's not got everything in it yet but it will you know you'll get automatic updates so for example if you buy it now it's going to cost you thirty five dollars you may not get your you won't have your ghosts or your black ops 2 
tools in there yet, so might be a bit disappointed about that, fair enough. But if you just think about it, if you even though you're not getting them now, when they do come out, you'll get a free update which adds them into the tool. So uh, at the end of the day, you got it quite cheap, whereas if anyone buys it at the point when we have Ghosts and Black Ops 2 already in there, it's going to be even higher price and they're going to have to pay more for it. So it is worth buying it now, is what I'm saying. But obviously, you know, totally up to you. So that's that, basically. Um, so next questions, what's required for it to work, uh, for the program to w run successfully? and for it to connect to the console and everything to work great. What do you need? First of all, we don't support a lot of operating systems yet. Bear in mind, the tool's still in beta, it's in its infancy. We've still got a lot more to do. So at the moment, Windows 7 and Windows 8 are the only, well, Windows Vista, I think, works as well. So could be wrong about Vista, but I th yeah, I th nah, it does. I'd have to check up on that. I think it works in Vista. It definitely works in Windows 7 and Windows 8. Um, it does, we do not support Linux. We do not support Mac yet. I mean, maybe sometime down the line we can do that. If you're desperate to get the tool and you've got Mac OS X or you've got Linux, Ubuntu, whatever, there's always VirtualBox. Um, you can run Windows 7 in a virtual machine and get the tool to run on that, get it configured with your local area network so it can connect to the console and you'll be able to use it on um, a Linux machine or a Mac machine or Windows XP or whatever it is that you run. Um, so that's basically what you need on the computer side. In terms of plugins, you're going to need XRPC, XBDM, and JRPC. The JRPC needs to be 60 kilobytes otherwise you have a fake version. I don't know where this is coming from. I am making a setup tutorial which kind of explains it a little bit more but for some reason a lot of people have a JRPC.XEX that's 44 kilobytes in file size and that is not the correct JRPC. I don't know what that one's all about but the real JRPC is 60 kilobytes so yeah, make sure you have that JRPC if you're getting it. it. That particular JRPC, the 60 kilobyte one, does come with the uh, tool when you uh, buy it, so you don't have to really worry about that. And the other plugins are on our website, ApparitionNet, well, actually, atomicjamie.com forward slash form, and you'll find it in the download section, required plugins post, and you can download it from there. So finally, last kind of questions that I've been getting, or a lot of, or what we've been getting, is, um, well, it, the que this, this particular question started, we used to get a lot of this uh, when we f first released the program, um, but now, <laughs> now we don't get a lot of uh, comments like this anymore, but I think I'll cover it anyway. Will it get cracked? That's the question. Will it get cracked? Um, a lot of people were worried about this at the start. Um, should I buy the tool? I don't know if I should buy the tool. Once if it gets cracked, then I've wasted my money. We've invested highly in security. That's all I can say. Um, obviously, it's a .NET, and all .NETs are crackable. I'm sure most crackers will tell you that. All .NETs are crackable. But believe me, our tool is not going to be easy to crack. Um, not just not easy, but darn near impossible. So, you know, I don't want to boast and say, ah, it'll never be cracked, it's impossible, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, crackers can go fuck themselves, they've got no chance. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, go, I'm not gonna go into that because all .NETs are crackable. Obviously it can be done, but for most of the people who try and crack the current tools, they haven't got a hope in hell of uh, cracking our tool, I don't think, because basically it's not like other tools. Any Anybody who has attempted to crack our uh, Apparition Net tool already, um, and a lot of people have tried, in fact we've even given the tool to certain crackers just as a challenge to see if they could crack it, to see how good our security was, and they all failed. Everybody who has tried to crack it has failed so far. Um, nobody's come close, not even close, uh, to cracking it and 
yeah, I mean, I don't want to say it's impossible, but it's very, very unlikely. We have invested pretty highly in security and I'm fairly confident that it won't get cracked. We've already got over 160 people who are on the tool at the moment who have paid for it legitly. Um, we've had cracking comments and people trying to crack it since day one. Um, that was, you know, six or well, five, six weeks ago. Nobody's been able to crack it so far. Uh, and even if somebody does manage to crack it, we have um, kind of prepared for that situation. So if it does happen, the tool will be completely unusable. So if anyone does manage to crack it, they, they won't be able to use it anyway. So really it's it's kind of pointless for anybody to crack it. And if they, you know, I still don't believe anybody will be able to. But again, it is possible, but really, I wouldn't worry about it because it's very unlikely. We've had lots of cocky people come in, coming to us saying that they're gonna crack it and oh, I've got the latest deobfuscator 4.2. It's gonna crack your software. It's gonna decompile everything. Uh, no, you know, everybody's failed. So I'm very confident that it won't get cracked. And yeah. That, that's really all I can say. I would like to say it's impossible for it to be cracked, but obviously that isn't true. I suppose all software is crackable, but still very, 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 very unlikely. And as I say, even for some miracle reason, they actually, ma well, miracle for the crackers anyway, they manage to actually crack it, then it's, they're not going to be able to use it. They're not going to be able to, to re publicly release it because it will be a completely unusable. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this has cleared things up for uh, quite a few of you guys. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment if you have any questions. Like the video if you liked it. And I will hopefully see you guys in my next video.